Hi everybody, welcome back to this STM32 F1 hand on an example. So today we are going to use the Nokia LCD screen library to have a small program to run it and to see how we can quickly generate some animation. By the end of this quick library review, you'll be able to quickly create new animations and add pictures to your Nokia. So let me restart it now and you can see so we are adding pictures, adding also the please subscribe and also you can see here if I push the right button my view guy is going to the right and if I push the left button my view guy will go backward or go to the left. So you can see you will be able to create these animations which will be quite very fast and very easy to do. Actually, this video is inspired using two tutorials. The first one is the coming from the STM32F1, where we establish the communication with the Nokia's LCD screen and we create the print and setup functions. The second one actually is using Python and we are converting a BMP file to the a screen format and we are uploading it. So if you would like to know more, I put the, the links for this tutorial in the description below. As usual, the code that we are going to share within this uh, video is available on GitHub. You can find the link in the description below. The main language that we are going to use in this program is the C language. However, we are going to use the KL Vision 5 to, um, to program, build and load into STM32F1. And finally, we are going to use a little bit of command line and this is to use the Python program to convert from BMP file to the format that we can insert in the Nokia screen. Okay, for the hardware for this video, you will need a STM32F1 or aka Blue Pill, the Nokia N511 LCD screen, and finally two push buttons to control the animation. So before jumping to the socket, let's have an overview about the program, how the program is working. So first of all, you will do have the Python converted, P converted PMP format or a char array. This data will be uploaded to a certain array of a 6 ray and 84 column, which is a kind of a buffer inside the uh, STM32F1. And after we have merged all the data that we need, we can upload the data in the Nokia um, LCD screen. So you see, it's a quite very simple. We have to prepare the data, upload it to the buffer to have the full picture and then send it to the screen. Now let's have a look to our testing example. So first of all, as usual, we have our STM32F1, the blue pill connected. So we will use, sorry, the um, JP drive library, also the Sysdic library and the SPI drive library. So, and we will use all these three library to, to have the N5110 drive library. So you'll need for this program to have a copy of these ones and they are available in the description below. Then we will have our Nokia LCD screen and it will be connected with the STM32F1. So which will be also connected with the first pin, which will be the port A pin 10 and another, which will be a digital input and another pin is connected, which will be the port A pin 9, also digital input. These two digital inputs coming from the switch will control a certain animation that we will update in the Nokia screen. So now that we do have an idea, we will uh, take a look to the coding and understand how to do this in a very, very short time. Before we start jumping to the code, if you like this content and like to stay tuned, just subscribe. Okay, so let's take a look quickly on the circuit. So this is our circuit here and we do have our STM32F1, our Nokia screen and two push button that we will use later on for the animation. Now that we have taken a look to our simple circuit, we can take a look to the our program. So first of all, this is the libraries that we are going to use. As you can see, we are adding the SPI library, which is used in the uh, Nokia library. So please don't forget to add all these libraries. And after that, we have our pin setup. And finally, the variable that we are going to use as a buffer that we will update and then we will use to update the Nokia LCD screen. So let's go then and see, first of all, we have always to initialize the Sysdic and then we are going to initialize the Nokia screen uh, parameters. Here we are going to use the SPI one. 
And you can see we are going to use some image type new data structure and this image type is have is used to uh, to you transport the pictures from the BMP to the Nokia screen. So as you can see here, we have put in within this structure. So the um, dot h is the image type height or how many um, uh, rows there is width so means how many column we do have and x position y position is where do we like to position our uh, image in the Nokia screen so here this is the view picture where we do have our view pictures and after that a subs picture and finally you can see here the walkman before to jump on that you can see as each um, data structure image type have a dot image array and this is the picture where we put here the height, the width, the position, we put also the image picture. We do have here this um, subscribe picture in the picture one, and it can go up to 30 image. So for the Walkman, for example, I'm putting five image, where the first four one is the guy walking, and the number five here is where the guy is looking at the screen. We will take a look later more in details when we will have a small example using our Python code to uh, convert the picture for the um, Nokia LCD screen format. Then, so we are going to put digital input for port A, pin 10 and 9, and then we are going to have our main function that we will use. Actually, they are very simple and a few functions that we are going to use. The first one is Nokia Clear or N5110 Clear. This function just clear the screen because sometimes there is residual data in the screen and this is quite very useful to clean. Also, we have to clear the buffer. So each time we are going to update the buffer, we need to clean it if we have a new cycle to use. Also, this is the main function to upload the picture. This is the update buffer. So you insert this type, the image type first, where you do have the image, the height, the width, and you put which image you would like to use. You see for this one, for example, for the wheel pick, we do have only zero, so we put here zero. But later on, you will see if we are going to use the Walkman, we are going to use a certain Walkman, and this will help us. This is what will create the animation, actually. And after that, we put the Nokia buffer. So we are going to use this image type, the picture in the image type, and then which buffer we are going to use. After that, we do have another update for the buffer if we would like to add just as a string. If we, that's much easier because all these are image that we are going to update. But if we would like to update a, a string straightforward, we can use this function. And we can have also select the X position and Y position. Okay, finally, so we, after we have finished updating the buffer, we can print the buffer and this is what will put the data of the buffer inside the Nokia screen. And this one, this file final function is just to put the Nokia screen light on or off, so whatever high or, uh, or low, so the, the screen will set on or off. After that, just we're adding another buffer, so we clean the buffer again, we update it with a new picture coming from the image type subs, and we just update it again, so we update the buffer. After that, we print the buffer and we wait for three seconds. So this is just uploading image into the Nokia. Here we will start to have some animation. So the animation will be controlled with a push button. So if we push this button, the uh, port A pin 10, we will have a position here. The Walkman uh, X position will be updated, depends on the bottom. So if we push this one A, it will be going from um, right to left and it will stop if the EI is um, less than zero. And you can see that each time we can use here, so you can see we are updating the buffer using the say like different image of one uh, image type. So we are running the JJJ and you can see the Walkman walking. On the other hand, if we push the port AP9, we will see the opposite, so the, from the movement of the, um, of the Walkman in the other side, so from left to right, and it will update the same Walkman. Else, we will have the Walkman, the picture number four, which is the Walkman looking at the, the screen and just writing, just view. So nothing better, like I can would explain many times, but nothing better to see just the example. So let's save 
build just to see if there's any error or nothing so everything looks good and I can load the program and let's make the screen bigger okay so we have our wheel stack logo then subscribe if you like and after that we have the just wheel looking at us because we are not pushing so if I push the right button the guy will start walking to the right yeah fantastic and if I release yeah he would just keep looking at us he is weird and after that he will walking backward like Michael Jackson fantastic so you can see you can control certain animation you can add text and it's quite very easy and straightforward so now let's finish by adding a small example by converting and using the Python code okay so let's I have my VS code here and this is the picture if you see here the BMP file that I used they are really small because we are using a really small format so this is the one that I'm using here and but for this time I'm going to convert a like image bottom and I were going to convert this one to the Nokia I do not have it here as a text because this is the format that we are finally uploading in our uh, microcontroller and I will show you all the step so first of all you have to open it in paint and you need to resize it choose pixel and the maximum horizontal size of the Nokia is the horizontal is 84 where the vertical is only 42 so if you put here 84 you see here it's 60 it's something that you cannot take so let's put here 42 and we will convert to this one to this size it become quite very small let's see here and the next step which is very important save as you have to convert it to a monochrome bitmap which is only 8 bit and we call it just like okay let's save now yeah of course I'm losing yeah I'm using this and I should have it as a bitmap here okay so now to run this program and to convert this one you see I have like.bmp first I will need to use python and after that the Python code is this one, N5110. So N511. If I put the tab, it will generate this one. And after that, I just need to add the uh, image, um, the the file name. So if I put just like and put a tab, it will show me the full name. Don't forget the .bmp, L there will be an issue. So if I push enter now, you can see that. The program has generated first, you can see the picture here converted to the byte number and also a new like.txt file has been generated. You can see here, this is the parameters that we will need to generate the picture at the Nokia. So just copy, it, you'll see it's very simple, very quick. Uh, you can have any header file, even put it in the main, but I'm putting here. So let me add the file here put like this so you will use these parameters to set up your new image type quickly what you can do you can just copy this one let's call it uh, like image like image and also here like image okay and let's go take these parameters so let's copy this just like and by jumping here and changing because all are following the same format so like here like here and for this one expose are equal zero by default and this one will be equal to like okay you can see now everything is set up quite very quick what we are going to do you just copy this one and if you paste here and instead of updating using subs you put like image here the code is ready and let's put the video on okay so let's save build okay no error no warning and let's make it big to see what would happen so we do have our image subscribe and we should see the like now yeah we do have the like and we enter to the game but however we can change a little bit the position of the like so I will show you so you can change a little bit the position it can be dynamic so if I change my position of the like and put in the second row like second row would be a bit too much the first row but the position I move it around let's say 
20 or like just 10 for start let's see the x position y position to see how things actually it's the opposite so for the x it will be here 10 and this one will be the y position will be 5 don't forget you have um the um you have uh, around 84 uh, x position and 6 y position but for this one we are going only one okay so only you do have from 0 to 5 for y position but if i save build and load let's take a look how where will be our like button yeah yeah so i think one is already too much let's put zero and let's save it run and load make it bigger wait a little bit subscribe yeah if you enjoy this content yeah not so bad okay i hope you enjoyed this tutorial thank you a lot for following and we'll